Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Valhelsia 2 with your buddy Super Turtle. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing fan freaking fantastic, guys. Last episode, we set up the quarry and the reactor over here. We also set up a couple of other things to make some string. We were using this. We got some stuff going, but today, guys, today, we are getting into refined storage. Yeah, baby. So, in here, we have... Actually, just in my inventory, we have string and this stuff. Yes, we're going to use up all of our string for some processor binding. That's all we get for today, unfortunately. So let's go here, type in refined storage. Yes, yes, here we are. We are, it's beautiful. We can have detectors, we can have stuff like that. But today, we're going to be working on getting a controller, this guy here. We're going to need to get some storage drives, or so disk drives. So we got that here, this is where we put our disks in. We're going to need to get some 1K storage disks. And we're going to need to get a crafting monitor. That would be a storage monitor. This is a crafting manager. A crafting monitor. Potato, potato, give me a furtado. Okay? So you know how the cookie rolls, right? So we got to go ahead and get this controller here. And to get that, we're going to need to make some of this iron and another quartz doohickey thingamabobber stuff. So if we come here like this, we also have a heck ton of iron, by the way, because of what we did last episode. If you guys missed the last episode, go ahead and check it out. It's up on the top right of your screen. But guys, we do this. We do that. Shebang, shabam. We got all of the things that make the thing go pop. So let's just go ahead here, make that. Uh, this guy, we got the glass. Um, to make this, we're going to need one of these, the advanced processors. Uh, so to make this, we just need some stone. Where are you? Sto oh, yes, we have stone in here. Yes, look at that. Even more iron. Beautiful. So we've actually got, like, two stacks of iron in here that need to be processed up. Does it get processed? Yeah, check it out. These zombies are really close, and they're really annoying. I'm terribly sorry about that. Okay. So let's go ahead. Here, we're going to make this bad boy up. We're going to make a total five. Okay, that seems like a decent number. All right, because I think we do need one for the drives. Yes, we do. So to make one of these, we need a diamond, redstone, binding, and silicon. Now, silicon you get just from smelting quartz. Uh, unfortunately, I seem to go, I went to full idiot and s combined all my quartz. Just kidding. We have more quartz. I am not an idiot. I am so smart. But this whole process of looking through all of the chests to find stuff, this ends today because I am sick and tired of it. So all of our quartz goes into there. We're going to have a good time. All right, four should be good for now. Let's go ahead and get one of these guys going. We just need diamonds and redstone. I don't got any diamonds. Rip. All right, guys. So I just got back from a big old mining trip. And uh, we got all the stuff we need now, all the diamonds. So let's go ahead and continue where we left off here. Uh, this won't really matter where we put anything soon because we're upgrading. Okay, we got the silicone we need. We got the diamonds we need. Um, we need to grab the conduit. Or the processor binding, not conduit binding. Uh, we need to grab some of the quartz. I am not sure, but I'm not going to go check it out. I'm not going to mess around and figure out what it was. So let's go ahead here. What do we need? We just need redstone. Perfect. So we should be able to make up a few of these. I don't want to make too many of them. Because now we're down to only eight diamonds. But as soon as we can start getting our... Um, quarry automated so that it goes off like every night or something like that uh, we should be getting in a, a whole lot of good resources okay and now time for the raw improved processor which is with gold okay so we're gonna grab some of those we're making another 16 of these okay and then we can smelt these up here perfect all right and then we're probably going to need to make some of the other processors too for the 1ks uh no where are the good pro the decent processors here they are these guys here, that's just with iron. Well, we should have everything. We, oh, we're out of um, thing. We're out of the quartz stuff. Look at all this fuel. Living like Larry. We're going to get like two of those guys going. Okay, so we have that made up perfect. So we need the controller here, and we're out of silicone, and that's what we needed. Oh, no. It looks like I'm going to the nether. Okay, so we should have all of the resources we need now, hopefully. Uh, so let's go ahead here and we'll make up the controller. 
Yep, we do have our controller. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and make up a disk drive. Now we do need a chesticle over here. Let's go ahead and make up. We're just going to make one of these for now. We should be able to store everything. Now we're not going to make the 1Ks. I just realized we shouldn't. We should actually like go for like a 16K. So we can go ahead and worry about that in a little bit. So we have our controller and disk drive. Now all we need is a crafting monitor. Um, so these are going to require patterns here. All we need is glass for that. Perfect. All right. I am so surprised that there was glass in that. So two here. And then a crafting monitor here. I believe that was it. I really hope that was it because that was expensive. Oh, we need a crafting grid. Freaking heck. We didn't do it right. Okay. Yeah, we need one of these. Ah, I feel dumb. Okay. So just one of those. One of these. I feel so stupid. Okay, crafting grid. We just need a crafting table. Okay, now we can make the crafting grid. This is what we need to see into our system. We're not going to use this just yet. Crafting monitor will go in here. Okay, so if we go ahead... Um, where do we want it? We're gonna need to put this temporarily somewhere. Um, hmm. Let us see. I think a good spot probably would just be like right here. Okay, and then we can just run some power underneath the wood. Yep, so we got power here. Okay, so all we do is we just grab some power from here, pipe it up, and yeah, we're online. Perfect. Now, how are we doing on power consumption? We can go ahead and remove this guy for now. Go ahead and see. We're staying pretty even there. Perfect. Well, this is with this guy running, too. Those uh, generators outside are pretty awesome. So now what we need to go ahead and do is start creating some of these... Um, these guys here. Give me one second. Let's get all the stuff out of our inventory that we don't need. Uh, let's go ahead and do this because we're needing to make a bunch of 1Ks. My goal is to have 16 16Ks 16 by the end of this episode. Uh, so let's see here. 4K. Yeah. So 16K, we need these guys. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of those. Those require that. This requires a lot of the silicone that we can get more smelting up. Perfect. So let's see about here, about making some of the 1Ks. Okay, so we can make, I believe we can make one 4K. Perfect. All right, now what are we missing? We need more silicone. Okay. So what is the best way to actually get quartz in this mod pack? World gen. Okay, so you just throw quartz in on top of the conjuration catalyst, and you get two out of it. You can almost duplicate it. Uh, you could throw prismarine crystals into here and get quartz. This is probably a good idea. Soul sand. Oh, yes. We are definitely going to do that. So we can turn soul sand into quartz through the bulk washing. That's amazing. Um, yeah, we are totally going to take advantage of that. Soul sand into that. And we even get a chance of golden nuggets so we're going to set up an automated system to do this now this, this is through create here so it'll be using this same method but we'll have it so that we have a whole bunch of uh soul sand that we're just processing up it will be great trust me okay more 1ks um, yeah we got five we need a 4k okay so we got two here as soon as we get the 16K and we can start to move everything over here, which will be awesome. So our limit now is just the 4Ks, or the 1Ks, unfortunately. Perfect. There we go. And we got our first 16K. Beautiful. Perfect. Let's get our 16K storage drive in here. Bam. Now we need to start moving all our stuff over. We can start crafting into this window as well. So we no longer have to do the stupid method and stuff like that. So I'm going to start to move everything over here, and then we're going to swap it out over here, and we are ready to rock. All right, guys, look at that. This is all cleared out. All of our items that we've ever worked for pretty much are in here now. 
It is amazing, guys. And check it out. We actually used 15.5K. Um, so I had to end up making another one just because I wanted to be safe here. But we almost filled up a complete 16K. Now, where we can go from 16 is 64. Um, it's pretty awesome. And then we can also go up to 256K. And we can go up to 1024K and then 40. And then, yeah, way up here to uh, one. Uh, yeah, so 16... 384k so yeah it's like 16 million uh, we won't be getting up there anytime soon uh but what it does mean is look we're only using 6fe per tick which is amazing here uh so it's very cheap to run this system so let's go ahead and just run it on over here so we're gonna put our stuff pretty much just here yep look at that there's our access cable that we need let's see about making some of the um energy duct thing uh let's see is it called pipe yeah, basic mechanical pipe. Is this it? No, this is not it. Um, shoot, what is it called? It's from Matt Mechanism, right? Yeah, here it is. Basic universal cable. Oh, it's called cable. Okay. So if we go like this, all of our items are on this one drive. Everything we own. It's a little freaky because if you die and that goes in the lava, every single one of your items is gone. So yeah, you got to be careful. Okay, that here, that here, this is here, crafting thing up here. And we can also fill this all the way up with um, storage drives. It'll they'll all connect like this, and then we can have just a heck ton of storage ready for it. I also want to go ahead and get into the whole um, drawers because those will be extremely helpful. Let's go ahead and fill this in. Look at that, we're back to normal. But all of our chests, all of our items are located within here. We can search for them. We can do all of the fun stuff. Uh, now the only thing to really think about is to uh, automate this setup. But uh, I don't think we're going to be doing that just yet. We also don't even need this anymore. What we could do is actually set up our charging station here. So that if we do need to charge our items, we can just stand on it. Right, I'll show you. Let's check this out. So we put this here, right? And we put this on top. So now if we just need to, we can be going through our inventory and we can get charged up. And then we don't need to be charged. We're there. And it looks like it's just a little thing to stand on. Very, very cool. All right, guys. Let's go see what we can do. So, all right. So I've, I've been doing some things off camera. I got some compacting drawers. Got some drawer controllers and some dark oak drawers because we're going to be setting up some external storage here. Now, the one thing I did not make is I did not make any, uh, what the heck? I did not make any of the trim I needed to. Now, we need to go ahead and make some dark oak trim, the stuff here. Uh, that should be pretty easy to make. Just make a few of this. This way, it will allow us to connect directly to our system here. So, we're going to be moving the furni, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to be leaving some room here. Um... This is going to be some major good times. So we're going to leave this, the, 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 these areas for that. Right, we're going to put some compacting drawers. That's a drawer controller. Come back here. You don't get to... No! It has escaped. Well, wrist and pepperonis, you know. Sometimes it just happens. All right, so compacting drawers. Be putting them here like so. Like a these. And then space one. Yeah. Actually, no. We're just going to have one row of compacting drawers. And the other row will not be our oak trim, but will be our normal drawers. And these have, these are two by twos, so they allow a little bit more storage. And so what this is going to do is we're going to have all of our bulk items here because it's going to get out of hand. Now, if you're wondering why I made so many, it's because eventually we're going to expand upon this in our basement. But today, we're just going to be working on this here. So we need to come on down here and mine that out. Mine that out. Okay, so it looks like water. Looks like water. Probably just going to have to put our drawer control here in the middle. So we can connect up the oak trim. Or dark oak trim, sorry. Yes. So if we go like this. 
Ah, I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Ah, what happened? Oh, I, I'm drowning. Let's not do that. Okay, we're, we're being less drowny. Okay, 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 okay. Ma mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Ah, let me out of my beautiful contraptions. That works. Okay, so we want to put the drawer controller. Hello there. You get dead. All right, so we're gonna put the drawer controller. Um, we need to have it so we can have the external storage thing on there. It's probably here like this, and then we can go like that, and then that connects, right? Did that connect? Yeah, it did. Okay, so the, uh, it's not a good spot. Yeah, we'll just leave it. Okay, so we're back here. Oh. <laughs> all right. Um, so let's just see here if I'm going to throw all of these items in here. Now, the items that we're going to be compacting are obviously going to be redstone. So let's just go ahead and get all of the redstone we can. Yep, that seems to be it. Okay, so redstone is being one. Now, are we able to see the redstone? Yes, we are. So we're able to see these items. Amazing. Cool. So now we're going to also get iron, obviously. Like so. Put iron in here. Are we able to see the iron and the nuggets? We sure are. Now gold. Oh, yeah. Gold nuggets, too. Okay, we're able to see the gold nuggets. Okay. Um, we're going to do lapis in one of the normal ones, because there's no need for us really to auto-convert this. So, let's see here. Are we able to see the lapis again? We sure are. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. So, I'm going to go through, and I'm going to get these all set up to what I want them to be, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, this is what I've got going here. As you can see over here, some things got in before I locked them. Uh, if you guys are using refined storage too, it is very important, or yeah, if you guys are using the drawers, it is very important that you lock the drawers so that your system doesn't automatically start putting things in here. So I'll need to like unlock this and get all these guys out and then relock it. So only what I deem um, good enough to go in there will go into there. So now as you can see, I put those items back in and that's good to go. There's nothing but back into there. Uh, but I did go ahead and get a crafting monitor working up here too. I filled up the other, the drive bay areas that I wanted to do. Um, got the gold here. We have, I believe this is tin, copper, coal, and then gold, iron, redstone, obviously. Uh, we got lapis down here. We even got the silicone and quartz enriched stuff over there uh, because I'm getting quite a bit of this stuff. I'm going to need it for the next few steps. Uh, but I want to go ahead and get a few 1K drives going here. Um, oof, we are all out of glass. That is not very good. Um, can we make... Yeah, okay, so we can turn this into sand here. Let me grab some coal dust, or some coal blocks. All right, cool, perfect. I like throwing the endo flames, the coal blocks, because they're good. I also want to go ahead and get a system to automate that whole process, because I don't... I don't really want to keep having to come over here and start throwing stuff at it. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually do like a, a bonsai pot system so that it just automatically is cooking up stuff for us. So we also need some furnaces. Yeah. Now, do we have any faster furni that we can make? Heat generator. Latex processing unit. Uh, Minecart with a furnace. Pitfall generator. Furnace upgrade. Furnator for power. Material stonework factory. We're going to need to get into that soon. Blast furnace, maybe. Resourceful furnace, maybe. Um, I think the one from... 
One for mechanism probably be our best one. I forget what it's called, like a smelting factory or something like that. Probably our best bet for that. But for now, unfortunately, we're just going to have to make do with these. Okay. So we got those smelting up here. We also should think about getting water piped into there. Yeah, we need the oxygen. We'll just keep the hydrogen in here. Perfect. So we can have just that going into there. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so I did make these 1K storage parts for a direct reason here. I want to go ahead and start making these. Now, the recipe for these, obviously, we got to make some more. Okay, we definitely need to get this whole process of sand automation, like, good to go. Look at this. Look at all those cactus we're getting, guys. It's beautiful. So good. Okay, so we can make 1K or 1... 4K. Oh, they were using the wrong ones. I'm charging myself. I don't need to be. Okay, so we have the three 4K dry or storage parts set up. I don't want to make any actual storage with them. I want to go ahead and make some of these. Uh, now we are going to run out. Yeah, we need to make one more of those middle guys here. Uh, but now I actually really want to go ahead and get into some auto crafting. Um, because I know we have refined storage and we just need to like automate some of this stuff So these 4k storage parts are going to really help us out. Um, we need to grab some of the refined storage piping Yes this here because we're gonna be setting this up in the basement Okay, so we got our pipe coming down here from up top um, We're gonna go ahead actually we're gonna cut this off Probably right around here honestly. Oh wait, we need to go up one more because it needs to look good and function good. You know what I mean? Okay. We'll have a stair thing up there. But these the guys should be online. Perfect. Now we're going to connect our crafters here. So we need to craft up those crafters. That's kind of ironic. Crafting crafters. Hmm. Whoever thought that crafting crafters would be such a fun task? All right. So we can only make a few of these. I need to go mining. I just need to start making some more stuff. So I'd like to make three of these if we can. Three of these if we can. Yes, we can. Perfect. All right. Don't let the crafters craft you. It's good. It's good. Don't worry about it. It's good. All right. We got the crafters here. Beautiful. We're all out of those. Crafting is my passion. Okay, so each of these, we're going to put this here just for f fun, um, should be able to craft. Now, I don't know, I don't remember if you actually have to place it next to a crafting table. I don't believe you do, but we're going to test this out just to make sure. Because I don't feel like messing that up. All right, now we need a pattern grid as well. So we need to be able to make some patterns. Yes. Yes. Okay, so pattern grid, bam. Need to make a normal grid again. Bam. We need to make one of you. Bam. We need to make one of you. Bam. That's it. That is it, bro nachos. Good lord. We are out of those processors again. Okay, we got that. We got that. Pattern grid. Bam. Oh, what are we missing? Missing a pattern. Gotta get a pattern. Bam. Pattern grid. Yeah, every day I'm pattering. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and break this guy. We're going to put the pattern grid up here. And then down here, I think it would actually be pretty cool. If we broke this. Put the pattern, uh, the crafting monitor here. So if we need to monitor what's crafting, we can just click there. These all get connected because they are all on one network. It's cool. It's not like applied logistics where you can only connect a certain amount on one line. They all just connect to one another. It's amazing. So we made six patterns. All right, six patterns. Now, what do we, what do we, what do we, what do we, what do we want to do? Well, this wouldn't be a bad one. Get that crafted up. All right. Um, this wouldn't be a bad one. I guess we can just start by automating these guys. Automate the automation system, right? That's what you have to do to be cooler than cool. So we're going to put you here. We're going to put you here. And we're going to put you here. Now let's test this out. Um, yeah, and then soon we'll actually be able to automate these guys, 
Uh, but until then, let's just go ahead and see if we can make 10 of these. Now, if we... We're going to do a test. If we do this, does it ruin the crafting? All right, we already made 10. Um, let's make another five. No, okay, so we don't need those crafting tables, which is a good sign, because I do like the look of this a lot better. Um, yeah, so this is our little crafting area. Can you get out of my ear, please? Now, the ability to automate smelting. We are going to get into that today. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not leaving you hanging. So we're going to need an importer, which means we need to make some more of those processors. So let's see here. Let's just craft up. Can we do 10 of these? We are missing the processor binding. Oof. That's a big oof, man. We should probably automate that too. Okay, so now we can make a total of eight of these, which is okay. Um, I'd like to make more, but that's fine. We'll just make five. And then we can smelt them up. Okay, so we can automate the ability to smelt those guys in the, sm in the furnace. Um, let's make sure here. Is it, I don't, mm, is it a smelting factory? It sure is. Basic smelting factory. Energized smelter. We'll just make it for this. For the, the fun giggles. The giggles. For the giggles. Gonna do it for the giggles. Okay, so we can't do it with that one yet, unfortunately. But ba basic this guy. Basic this guy. Yeah, that's right. Let's get some pipes here. Our cables. Oof, we're running low on these. Nine. Now, can we make it down with nine? Because we're going to be putting this over here. Um... Just for now, this is where it's going to be. We need power out the back. Die! Got him. Okay, uh, let's run some power down here. Yes. Yes, we are doing it. This is what I love. We are automating the automation. All right, like that. Perfect. We can put this here. This is getting power. We can smelt up to three things at one time. We also have some room for our crafter to be. We're going to need to make one more. I know I said we were only making three, but we got to make a fourth. Okay, we can just connect it right up there. Perfect. Okay. Didn't connect. That did. Okay, so now there. Um, this needs to go out the back like so. Alright, that's where the importer will be. This is where we'll get the items back into our system. This is going to be one heck of a video to, uh, to edit. <laughs> oh well, it is fun. Okay, so these should be done smelting. They sure are. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and go back to refined storage. We're going to need to make one more crafter. We need one of these. Perfect. We need one of these. Perfect. Okay, we need one of these. Bingo. And, oh, uh, no. Okay, so while we're doing the importer... We can go ahead and make one more of these. Bang. Pow. Zow. Got it. Importing. That didn't work. All right. Importing. So this will be, we'll have to configure this. So energy is in the back. 
not input, not input, output, input up at the top. So this thing is fully configured. We get power to this bad boy. Once this guy's done smelting like that, we can go ahead and get our other crafter going. Perfect. Let's go ahead. No, you did that wrong. Yes, like that. Perfect. That that's all hooked up. It's like it's hooked up, guys. So we're just gonna do one of these for now. Yeah, we'll make it look pretty. Well, actually, I want to do a total of three of these different processing things. But now we get to put our patterns into there. So what we can do is I think our first one needs to be sand. Uh, we're all out of sand, aren't we? Shoot. We should put a door on this side. It'd be great for my Batania setup. Okay, we got sand. Perfect. We need to automate that system here soon. Should just be a dispenser getting like three pulses every once in a while. It should work just fine. Okay, um, yes, so here we need to switch this over to processing, and so one sand, and we need glass, gives us one glass, so it says one-to-one -one ratio, perfect, like that, yep, let's go down here, put that in, and let's throw that in there, let's see if we can get some glass melting, we'll just make ten. Yeah, here we're going. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. And we can put upgrades in here from mechanism. It's going to be amazing. But look, automation. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Now we can put the the processors in here too. So if we go like one of these, does that automatic? Oh, it does. It is auto. Automatic. Yes. So now these can get in here too. And the cool thing about this is there's three different ones. So if we did sorting, uh, if we don't have sorting on, it will put the different items in here. But this is much faster, so we're going to do that with the upgrades. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you got something useful out of this, make sure you subscribe because we do videos like this every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But all right, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. I hope you all have a great time. Bless your face. You're beautiful.